Linda from Sharmakaya. We're going to pre-tape this uh, video chat of tomorrow due to the uh, school break. So um, here goes. I'm going to talk to you today about selenite. Selenite is a stone that is in the uh, gypsum family, which means that it's in, um, it's in layers, in strides. And um, this stone it comes white, peach, pink, and clear crystal that we call. Um, the key, clear crystal is like this. You can kind of see my hand through it or my ring maybe. Not with the sun in the back. I can't. Well, it's very clear. And then you have the uh, more opaque one, which we call white. And um, you have an egg on the other side that is peach. And we have golden ones. We had different ones. Selenite is a uh, stone. Um, if anybody has ever seen the uh, the videos that were very popular a few years ago about the caves in Mexico, where there was pieces of selenite that were 10, 12 feet long, and that people had to wear these um, suits against the heat to go and visit this area which reflected all kinds of colors through the light. Um, it's a stone that gives off a lot a lot of energy. Uh, its basic function is protection, grounding, rooting. It's a stone that puts us in our place, that helps us feel solid in everything that we do. It's also a stone that will kind of form a protective barrier from anything that is negative around us, whether it be thoughts, words, or gestures. Um, it won't work as well for things that are invisible, like spirits and so on and so forth. But for anything that is human-made, like uh, people that are envious, people are jealous, people that are really angry and have a venom tongue, this will work against the, all these all these words and all these gestures that could be directed and lower your energy. It's also a stone that will cleanse other stones. So if you put a piece of selenite among your stones, it shall clean them. It's also a stone that absorbs all that is electromagnetic. So from cell phones to, micro to microwaves to computers, it's a beautiful stone to have close to anything that gives off sound waves. Uh, as you can see, I don't know, uh, next to our computer, we have a kind of cross quantum physics kind of piece that has been absorbing our um, computer's uh, sound waves for a long time. And as, as you can see, some of the edges are getting very dark or very chalky because it's absorbing a lot of negativity from the sound waves because you know through computers you get all kinds of messages and I, I would also like to show you that it comes in the forms of lamps so you can put a selenite lamp in a bedroom to bring calmness you can put it in a family room to bring joy and to absorb all the t television stuff um, you can put it in an office when there's people that are not in harmony or that there's competition among the staff. It's a, a very good stone. The way to cleanse it, although they say it, it, it cleans itself on its own, I believe it's like summertime when you go in the lake, you may not need to shower, but every now and then a bar of soap helps, you know, what I mean. So for me, you need to clean all your stones every now and then. So I would not put it in water because it's, uh, like I said, it's gypsum. So all I would do is clean it with a bit of smoke from an incense, uh, such as um, frankincense, mirror, um, or resin from, um, you could take sanctuary, uh, church, or you could take uh, liquid sage or smoke sage also. This will clean, and then I would put it at the moon at the full moon if possible to recharge it completely it's a beautiful stone to have to uh, protect oneself it comes raw and it also comes polished so people that want to put them in their pockets 
you're better off taking a piece that is polished. There's less chance of it chipping or breaking. It comes sometimes in jewelry, but as pendants. I've never seen it on a ring or a bracelet. I think it would be too, um, um, it would break up in, in strides. So uh, selenite is a very, very good stone. It brings me to the topic of cleansing. It's springtime. It's very important to clean our spaces and our areas. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about cleansing your family room and the kitchen, which are the two main rooms of a home where everybody gathers. Um, use some selenite. You can put it in the four corners of the room. You can also accompany it by a, a small glass or a small um, pot of a Tupperware or something. Put some uh, coarse sea salt in it. And next to it, put your selenite. And you'll see within a week, your salt may get hard. That means it absorbed all the negative. And after a week of you having your selenites and the salt, I would clean with some incense, not necessarily sage, but like I mentioned before, frankincense is very good. And then what I would do is I would install four pillars. I would meditate with selenite and install four pillars in each corner as to have um, the protection of higher than oneself. Put a pillar north, east, south, and west, or you can put a pillar in the name of Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Uriel, or you can put the eagle, the, the wolf, um, the um, uh, colibri, the uh, happy bird, the, um, oh, what do we say, uh, hummingbird. And uh, you can also put a, um, a polar bear. So you can go with animals, with spirits, angels, the directions, the elements. You could go with water, air, earth, and wind whatever suits you, but put four pillars in strategic places and put a huge ribbon in your mind around them that is gold. It will tie them together and it will prevent from anything negative to go through that space. I would ask you to start with your family room and then the kitchen. And of course, naturally, it's important to clean all the corners before with the vacuum because anything that is... Um, has dust in the corners, it represents stagnation, so it's bad energies. You could also add a, um, a chime, a wind chime also eliminates a lot of negativity and it will bring the feeling of spring coming into your home. So for today, I would suggest that these, this is an important step to take. And next week, I'll talk to you about cleansing the whole house in general. So uh, apart from that, I would say, Cleanse with your selenite. Cleanse yourself also. You can put it under your bed for one night to clean yourself and your husband or your pets that sleep in your room. All these things are very important. So on that note, I'm going to wish you a nice spring break, time off, relax with your families, and enjoy. Because tomorrow they say snow. So... So we'll put a smile on our face and we'll say, okay, let's enjoy today and tomorrow we'll see what happens tomorrow. So may uh, you be blessed by the light and have a good day. I'll see you next week. Bye. Did I talk to you?